All right, we'd like to look a little bit further into editing. And I have an uh, area of the Tompkins County here and Cayuga Lake, and I've got some roads that uh, surround, the, surround the area. So I'm, I'm going to do some adjustments on the roads and, and maybe try to create a new layer that contains just the roads here around uh, the city of Ithaca. So one thing uh, I could do is to try to take geometry from from one layer and put it into another. So I'm going to start by uh, creating a new layer. So it's a new shape file, uh, a line shape file, and I'm just going to leave all the attributes out here at the beginning. So um, very very undefined, and I'll call it here. Call it Ithaca Roads 1. So I have Ithaca Roads 1 over here. Now my goal is to take some of the roads from Mount Tompkins and put them into the Ithaca Road thing. So to do this what I need to do is to toggle the editing to turn these both on. So I go to Tompkins Roads and I, I toggle the editing on there and you can see that it's a nice picture. Uh, come over to Ithaca Roads here and I toggle that editing on. So the editing for both of these is live. So I'm going to come up here and highlight the, the roads and uh, select by rectangle here and I'm just going to uh, you know just for an exercise just grab a, an area around what, what um, I think looks like the city. So those have been grabbed and now I'm going to come up to the editing and I can copy these features. So I've Got those features copied. It takes a minute or so. Okay, I've copied those features. Now I'm going to click on the Ithaca Road section and I'm going to edit and paste those features in. Okay, now I'll toggle the editing off and it'll say, Do you want to save? Absolutely. And I'll come back up to uh, Tompkins Roads and we're going to toggle editing off and then you can see what I've I've gotten here let me turn those Tompkins roads right off is I have a selection of Ithaca roads uh, I'm going to clear the uh, selecting characteristic and 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 there they are so Ithaca roads are lit up go to its properties and make that a little bit easier to see Okay, so I've been able to, t to take um, a set of geometry from one layer and into another one that I've created. Now, if I look to see what's come over, I'm going to look at the attribute table, and you can see what's happened is I've lost all the information about uh, all those roads. So I have, I have nothing in the um, attribute table that's useful. So we have a a problem in, in, in uh, stealing geometry in, in that fashion. So I'm going to try another method to, to get the roads here is to get a subset of these roads uh, that I can kind of individually select. So uh, I'm going to come up here and duplicate Tompkins roads. I'm going to turn these Ithaca roads off. Uh, so the Tompkins roads copy is now on and then from here uh, I'm going to do a save as. So I'm going to browse out here and we'll go to this area where we were before and we'll call this Ithaca Ithaca Roads 2. Okay, so now I've got um, Ithaca Roads 2. That I need to add. And I can uh, get rid of the Ithaca Tompkins Roads copy. So we'll remove that. 
Okay, so one one aspect here is I could toggle the editing on for Ithaca Roads 2. And I can select by a rectangle. And I'm going to grab them all. I grab all these roads and come up to edit and uh, delete the features. Features are all now gone. If I look at Ithaca Roads 2, I look at the attribute table. You see, the difference here is that while it's completely empty, I have all of the headings for all of the components there. Okay, so my attribute table is populated with titles, but no information. Uh, so now the plan is to go back to Tompkins Roads, and I'll toggle editing on. And now I'll go select uh, an area. And then copy those features. Okay, I've got those copied. Now I'm going to click down on Ithaca Roads 2 to edit this feature and paste. All right, so now we can turn the editing off. We want to save. Always ask you that. Yes. Do. We'll toggle the editing off here. And so now I've accomplished um, getting my, my roads again that I wanted nearby in the city. Uh, but the difference is that the attribute table is now completely populated with everything that I really wanted. Now one thing that you can do is you could go through and create um, headings for perhaps just the things that you're interested in. For example, you may not uh, you may not care about the ID numbers or whatever. You may just want the full street name and not the street name. So you could get a subset of information and bring that across if, uh, if you wanted. So the bottom line is, as we cut and paste from um, one layer to another, only the data that matches the headings will, will come across. So that's an important recognition to, to make. From here, if we wanted to, to zoom way in on a, a particular area, let's say um, I was a little concerned about this area down here that, that actually I wanted some more roads in there. So now we can, we can kind of go back and forth and uh, and you know, turn these both on and uh, get editing uh, enabled in, in both. Oops, that's the wrong Ithaca Roads, this one. And we, we may want to, you know, kind of look back and forth as to what, we, what we're doing here. So, um, what is it that we really want to grab? between these two. So I could come up to Tompkins Roads and say, well, there's a another group of data that um, I want to um, grab, which may start up here. And uh, I can do this by a, a polygon method. And so maybe I want to include the, uh, these additional things with respect to my. And so I've grabbed those and then to edit and copy these, just that, that section of those features, and come down in here to my Ithaca Roads 2 and um, paste those in. Oh, yes, we have to save those. go and then we'll clear the selections and we've now got a little bit better view of of road so in this manner I've, I've been able to create a new layer uh, from the others now this is a, a kind of a, a somewhat useful um, editing technique uh, but we we've others where we will actually create uh, create by tracing over the top uh, 
and there are others that we will go within a layer and just grab the geometry we want and save the selection as. So different methods for accomplishing the task of editing and creating new layers.